once you're in that locker room in a championship game, you want the guys to be relaxed. You want them to be loose. They may never have this opportunity again. Very few ever have it. And I want them to really feel the whole, the whole scene. He worked so hard. He prepared for so long for this moment. Nothing changes. We've been playing for a championship. Get Xavier. We played for a championship <coughs> over at UNC, over at Notre Dame, and a great. Nothing has changed. We've been playing for this title, those games. This is just one more game. It's in the motto, expect to win. And we go out there and you take that eight star and you grab it! Yeah! It's been since 2004 since the Hoosiers have been back here in the College Cup Final. And there are a lot of alums on hand today dating all the way back from 1963. Indiana in red, Georgetown in gray. It's game on here in Hoover, Alabama at stake a national championship for these two programs. The snow is going to get closed down quickly. It's one back by Indiana. Zabaleta. Zabaleta goes for goal, goes for goal. And we say it all the time, you know, how you, how you leave your mark on the program. And the, the, the players talk about it all the time, you know, what it would be to put another star that's forever you know, on our uniform, and that's powerful. To be able to say I was part of that one, whether as a player or as a coach, to say I was part of that star or that star or that star, it, it, it's a pretty neat stamp that you put on this program. In 82, it was, was a very big memory. It was incredible to be there in the game's uh, length. I mean, my goodness, uh, the game went on forever. We had been so close for three times, and then finally winning it and taking it to eight overtimes or 11. I forget how many we played. We started the game at 7.30 in Fort Lauderdale and finished at 11.30. Thompson very skillfully placed it around the Duke wall and into the net. Indiana 2, Duke 1, and the Hoosiers had their first NCAA soccer championship. Winning that first championship in 82 was, was unbelievable. The feeling when that ball went in the goal, you can't give words to that. Stars have been used internationally by teams that win World Cups. That's where I got the idea. Why don't we do a star for our championship when we won our first one? Never thinking or dreaming, uh, certainly hoping we'd have more, but never dreaming we'd have eight at this point in time. Well, the IU program has shaped my life in a, a lot of different ways. Um, like I said, it's, it's, I was born into it. And we are underway from Cruz Stadium. St. John's in the all-white going right to left, Indiana in the all-red. Jerry Yeagley, the head coach, and there's his son, Todd, on the far right sitting on the bench. Good to see him keeping it in the family, you know, there he is. When I talked to Todd earlier this week and asked him about coaching with his dad, he said it was so special that he just never realized how hard the coaching aspect of the game was. You never do until you're actually in there. <laughs> Midfield and defense, it's up to you. Aiden gets by the man. Back heel. Clock it! Grab a boy. Point time. Through the wall. And how meaningful would it be for you to see your head coach, Jerry Yeagley, go out on the national stage winning a national championship? I mean, Coach Yeagley's such a great guy. He's the best soccer coach ever. And to go out on top would be so fitting. Uh, for his career and for the person he is to, to go out as a national championship would be fantastic. Grab a boy on his right. Peterson. Peterson. Strikes it. When you take that field, your head's high, your chest is out, and by golly, we're going to win this game. Dangerous ball. This may do it. This may do it. Jerry Yabley. What an end. And what a win for IU. The strategy, you know, in a championship game uh, on the coaching side is one that, you know, I've leaned obviously on someone who's done it quite a bit. And um, I feel like 
the experience that I gained from just having the, the mentor with my father allowed me to, to stay the course and not um, vary what we did, our preparations. And into the box. Right foot, a shot, huge save, Slotko got a left hand out. And absolutely We're stopped. certainly an underdog coming into the College Cup in, in 12. We, we were obviously a team that was last seeded, um, a team that you know had gone through some ups and downs, and it was very close. It was very tangible for them. A.J. Carrada, can he make it work for Indiana? Huge save from Tomas Gomez. The danger hasn't been averted yet, and finally is. Duty now trying to do that with this long run for him. He'll get a crossover. It's caught the sun. It's an empty net. He it. He gets a run of play. Stars mean a lot to me. Championships are byproducts of what you do every single day. It tells you that there's consistency. It tells you that there's, there's excellence what we do. Those eight stars represent a tradition of excellence unlike any other. It tells me that we've had unbelievable talent. It, it, it says a lot and it, it just is an incredible amount of uh, pride when I see it is what I feel. And uh, I couldn't, I couldn't be any more proud. Georgetown will launch it forward one more time. It's done. It's mission accomplished. It's quest for eight. It's Indiana. They have won the national championship. This is this is unbelievable. Um, these players, this program, there's nothing like Indiana soccer. And to, to win this eighth championship with our alumni, our fans, I'm so proud. I'm so proud of these guys. This is a wonderful moment.